Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you Butter's Illusion. I was actually making this dress, so I decided to share it. It might be relevant to someone out there, so I decided to share. So without saying much, let's get to the project. I'm actually working with a fabric length of 46 inches and the width is 15 inches. I actually don't need the 15 inches. What I need is um, my hip plus is divided by 4 plus 1 inch seam allowance plus 1.5 inch seam allowance plus 1.5 inch zip allowance. But the fabric came like this so I was using the total of the width to cut the fabric. So, the first thing I needed to do was to mark one edge from the top edge of the fabric. That is the point I'm going to start with. You can do the same to paper or whatever you are using. When I'm marking one and a half inch from the fold of the fabric, which is representing my zip allowance. So, I'm connecting the points mark out the line so that it will be visible. So the, I'm actually, the measurement I'm working with, my waist to hip measurement is 9 inches. Then I'm working with a breaking point of 17 inches. Some people call it new, but I call it breaking point. Because that is where I start covering out from my hip line. So that's the hip, waist to hip measurement, which is 9 inches. And my uh, waist to breaking point, which is 17 inches. Happy have 18. I'll be 19, I'll be 20. I actually work with the height of the person. So if I'm working with an average height, I use between 17 to 15. If I'm working with tall people, I use 19 to 20. So the length I'm actually working with is 44 inches. So the remaining one inch is going to be for my heavy allowance. So if you have watched my video up to this extent, please like, subscribe, and share with so your soulmates. Who loves to fashion lovers this year with them who wants to make dress for themselves please subscribe connect the points so we now mark our horizontal measurements what i do is my waist measurements i don't add these to my waist what i do is i divide my waist by four inch by four so i now add my dart allowance which is one inch and i add my seam allowance which is one and a half inch. In total, that gives me 10. So after marking my waist measurements, I move from that point half an inch up. That half an inch up, I will connect it to that my waist. To that zip point, to the zip point, not to that one inch of deep. I will curve it, you will see when I'm curving it. So now my hip measurement was 38 plus this allowance divided by 4. So I'm going to measure down 4 inches from there. That place will actually represent like a tie because there are some people that their hip protrude outside. Somebody like me, I have a hip that is protruding outside. So normally, I mark 4 inches for my hip and the same measurement is going to apply My hip movement is applied. Then at the breaking point, I move it by 1 inch. So I connect everything. So from that half inch, you connect with your hip cup. See the way I'm connecting it now. I 
actually don't need to in allowance there in that case. Consider it into the measurements. So now I will now extend that same measurement to the length of the dress or skirt, whichever you are sewing. So I'm going to mark 10 inches there. Just duplicate the same measurement, take 10 inches so that you're able to do my life. Okay, so from that breaking point, you move in by half an inch. You can even move it one and a half, it depends on how deep you want it. Then from the waistline, I'm moving by half an inch to be able to create that butter's illusion. So that when you wear your skirt, you wear your dress, it comes in It makes your dress so beautiful. Connect all the points. From the drawing, you can see it. From the chalk that I marked, you can see that it's already we have the gallop around that point. So you extend same measurement from the breaking point to the length of the space down the mark. So mark that point now which is first span divided by two. Mine is four inches. So I mark half a inch in between the line and I draw that. Swing is actually interesting. I fall in love with it. I'm an engineer, but I just love sewing. So we're cutting out the fabric. We're cutting out our shape and the remaining of the fabric. You can see that the fabric is being wasted. I'm not a, 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 a tailor that wastes fabric. I love preserving all my fabrics. Okay, so after cutting that now, what we need to do is to cut our lining. But in this dress, I'm going to place lace on top of my main fabric. At that point, anytime you want to sew, the same one and a half or two inches that you use is going to use what you are going to use in sewing. So I've cut my lining, two lining. iron and interfacing. Now if you want to cut your lining, make sure it's half inch more than your fabric so that by the time you turn, you're not going to have issues. So when you finish sewing it, you can trim. But if you decide to cut it the same way, sometimes you find out that the lining is shorter. So I always cut half inch more than the main fabric. Now at this point, you notch your fabric, you notch your lining. Notch the waist to hip line, we we'll notch the breaking point, we we'll notch at the length of the skirt so that by the time you want to turn the line, you know the point where the notch is cut. I'll actually notch the, uh, that allowance so that by the time I'm holding my dad, you know, that So that is the interfacing and the iron of the main fabric so that it will make the the down the back layer of the dress to stand very well. It gives it a structure. That's the lace. Now, the lining must be one inch shorter than the main fabric. Mm -hmm. One inch shorter than the main fabric. So I've finished sewing it now. You can see the extra of the lace and the lining. And the 
nail fabric as so it so I'm going to trim it off now turn it so my dad and top to the sides I've done the same thing to the second part of the dress so I'm trimming now so that you reduce the excess on the side. So now I've finished sewing my skirt. I've sewn the dots. I've ironed to the center. I've sewn my uh, zip allowance to the down of the skirt. I've used one inch because I've used half inch to sew the sides in so that I will avoid surgery. I don't have a surgery machine. So now I'm putting a buttons that have been padded so that you can see the buttons in the show. So we are finished. Thank you for watching. If you are not subscribed now, please do subscribe, like, press the notification bell so that next project will be notified. Thank you. Bye bye for now.